Hello, gamers and gaming dudettes. My name is Buster2178, and I have came up with an interesting idea plan when I was at school. Um, basically, when I was learning at school, I learned and I can think about video games at the same time. Um, I got bored. I was like, man, I'm always bored at home. Nothing else to do. Um, you play a game, you get off a game, you play a game, you get off a game, you never finish it. Well, I thought of an idea. Maybe y'all like to use this idea for your advantage to not be bored. I made a gaming bucket list. Basically, a gaming bucket list. You make a bucket list of the, your top 10 favorite games. What were your top 10 favorite games from the early 80s, late 90s? From like 1980 to 1999. What were your best top games? So, I'll, I'll tell you what I, how I listed it and, and the consoles for it. Basically, Lunar 2 for number one, Sega CD. Mortal Kombat 2, the arcade. Cobra Command, Sega CD. Breath of Fire 2, SNES. Sewer Shark, 3DO. Breath of Fire 3, PlayStation. Killer Instincts, SNES. Contra, NES. Castlevania, NES and Chrono Cross PlayStation. Those were like my top 10 favorites I, I considered in my head. And about half of these I would play, but I haven't got to finish playing them. So I was thinking about doing, since I made this bucket list, I'm going to start with number one, which is Lunar 2, Eternal Blue, Sega CD. I will literally play it from beginning to end. And Y'all might say, hey, why not the PlayStation version, or why not Killer Instinct's the arcade version? Well, like I said, it's my top ten favorites. Um, you, you can post your top ten bucket list video or um, comments at the bottom of the list. Um, I'll tell you where you can get the emulators for these, and I'll tell you where you can get the ROMs for these also, because it's totally free. Um... And basically, I decided to do this because I actually wanted to jump back on some of these, starting with number one, playing it from the beginning to the end of the game. And if it's got a continuation, finish the continuation also. After I beat the game, check it off my list and go to the second one. Basically, I was about 12 years old. That's about 20 years ago. I'm 32 now. But like about 20 years ago, I was playing this Lunar 2 Eternal Blue on Sega CD and I beat it in about 24 hours so it's a it's a 24 hour type RPG game before that because I played it twice before that it was 36 hours so if you know what you're doing and you grind it oh well but I might not grind it I might take 36 hours or, or take my time playing it but, um, yeah, these are my top 10 favorites. I meant probably if I ever get bored again, I'll think of another top 10 favorites, make another different list compared to the different bucket list of this one, gaming bucket list. Start from number one, go down to number 10 from playing each game from beginning to the end without jumping around. Just play the game literally from beginning to end. And you'll probably go like, man... This takes me back ages. I mean, oh wow! I might even drop in a couple if I if I do my next music, uh, my next YouTube video. Um, I'll do like maybe the Sega Saturn X, the 32X, the Game Gear. I um, mean, there are a few games, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. There are like so many consoles, so many games for each and old classics from everything I like and these are the games I want to play I'm not talking about no Xbox I'm not talking about PlayStation 2 I'm not talking about all those consoles even if they were from the 90s the the, the late 90s going on to 2000 no scratch them off your list we're talking about PlayStation 1 Sega Saturn Sega CD the 3DO uh, that's why I even got Sewer Shark 3DO I mean I plan to grind on these ones and and just take me back to my childhood dreams. But, hey, make up your bucket list. Give us a description about your top ten favorites. Um, maybe some people would be interested to hear that they may have not tried out before. Um, subscribe, have fun, and game on. So...
Y'all have fun. Hope to hear from you guys. Later. Peace. Oh shoot, wrong button.